that start, Awaken Hasegawa and Awaz Rukawa were banned. Awaken Fukuda is picked at the first place. High score directly snatched two top tier characters. Shohei Saguragi and Avan Sento has been selected. Awaken Kenji and Maki were picked as last, after Miyawasu and Awaken Miyaki were put into ban list. Before the match is started, Blue Team has better formation. Three of them are great in both offense and defense. On the other side, Red Team is having a flow. Both of their scorers need to achieve some requirement just can be real good. Based on this perspective, early game performance will decide the end result. Another block from Sento. Blue Team stopped their attack twice. On the other hand, Maki has limited Fukuda and Kenji movement. Both of them are not allowed to use any driving or turnaround move. Blue Team is having advantage. Nice crossover fade away wide open 2. Fukuda was streaming for 1 second then he lost his target. Wow, nice one. A simple step shot from Kenji for a wide open 2. Kenji is really a very good character in offense because we never know which one is real short and sometimes we just can't react in time. Even top players may not able to react in time. In normal ranking match, we need to help out to defend him. That helps a lot. Sento score again. Simple crossover with a fade away. Fuguda was slow to react again. Fuguda tried to slow defender down by his position. Even though he does not have any screen skill. Nice one. We are hardly to realize this kind of contribution. Sometimes 3 pointer have to appreciate those tiny little moves. Sento make a quick call. Jun was mispositioned, then he chose to dunk directly, and no one able to stop him. Fuguda is always stopped when he tries to dive into the painted area. At the same time, his turnaround move is still. Red team is relying on Kenji now. When one scorer is shut down, the other scorer may feel the pressure. Under these circumstances, players will tend to make bad calls. However, Kenji is still pretty calm. His short selection is always good. Another great team defense effort from Blue Team has caused 18 second violations. Nice block from Fukuda. Painted area is too crowded. Bad call. Nice drifting shot from Fukuda. Sendo bet on his catch and shoot. Maki yet to recover from his last blocking animation. Kenji player must stay patient. Your vision must be clear. You need to carry the team to the victory not just keep shooting all the time. Kenji fix shoot and pass is the best move, especially his fade away pass. So much time for us to pass if we see the defender is able to follow us. Maki has scored with his king's layout. Rektin has allocated the sequence. Fuguda missed the blocking timing. Nice try. One hand flutter was blocked again. So sad for Fukuda. Maki can try this kind of fast shot when you are stacking out Maki's ulti. Normally, on board defender will not try to block your fast shoot. They are scared. Maki will kick them away and no referee in the court. Don't forget Maki's mid range and resistance are top tier too. Most likely is 50% field goal percentage. We always see that Fukuda was limited his scoring ability in tournament matches. But in normal ranking game or Grand Tour, that will be another story. So Rong Rival team is not coordinated well, his dive-in skill will not easily to be stopped. That is the difference between our match and tournament match. Excellent ulti pass to Sandor for a wide open fade away when he attracted two defenders on him. Market is really worth the price. Comparing his full cost to advanced players, almost is one third of the cost. But he can be still good for such a long time. Worth to slowly upgrade him to 100%. Monster Kenji is appear. Can he carry his team? Crap. Maki has made another shot. Kenji should be able to block the shot. I think he hesitated. One mini left and four point leads. Still not losing yet. They are passing around and trying to get some shooting space. Suddenly Kenji did a driving fade away. But Maki is able to follow him and provide interference. Sento pick up the floor ball. I think Kenji estimated his distance with the defenders. So he decided to use this move. But too bad. Maki reaction speed is fast enough to follow up. Another king's pass to Shohei Sakuragi for a simple catch and shoot. Nice one. Such a good field vision. 6 point lead with 30 seconds left. Red team must speed up their pace. 
After drawing out defenders from the paint, Kenji has passed to Fukuda to score with his ulti. Great strategy, since Jun may have his ulti. Fukuda stole the ball from Sento's hand, still could hope. Fukuda's first point footer is blocked by Sento. Actually, this is a good call, since Jun is out of position, but Sento thinks ahead of him. Nice fake shoot and pass to Fukuda for catch and shoot. Now it's one possession game. 2 tensor for high score. At the same time, they will be more cautious after Sando's Bobo walk got stolen. OMG OMG! Kenji successfully stole Maki's ball after being stopped. Kenji tried another interfere tree and missed again. That's why don't try to use Kenji to take interfere tree. Nightmare. Okay, let's move to the next game. A one Sento and Awakened Hasekawa were banned. A one Shukawa was picked first. Awakened Fukuda and Shohei Sakuragi were selected together. Awakened Kenji was banned to prevent lag to pick the same formation again. Kenji was performing good in the last match. Takasago and Awakened Jim were picked. We have new faces here. Let's go, let's go! Fukuda tried his turnaround one hand flutter, but getting interfered, Fukuda secured the rebound all by himself. What are you doing, Jin? Maki is just in front of him, and Jin just did a sidestep like that. Why this scene looks so familiar? Eh, we all face the same problem. This is a great team defense. Takasako is going to the left and Maki is at the right, and blocks Sakuragi's shot. This is because Maki is defending Jin. For facing a fake shoot and pass character, when we are assisting in defense, the best we can do is to just stare at them. No choice, if we jump, it may mess up the blocking sequence if he pass to his teammate. For this match, it's Tagasago. Sakuraki thought Jin will pass the ball to him. So sad. He pressed the shooting key, but ends up jump for nothing. Nice interception from Jin. Everyone can do interception steal from passing lane. We just have to position ourselves between the passing lane with guard stance. Then it may trigger the stealing animation. For those characters who have talents, will have much higher chances to trigger. For pressing steal to intercept, may only works with Ryoda Miyaki and Uekasa. This is just my experience. Share with me your experience too, if you have found interesting move. And one more point, interception threat help a lot too. No mercy from high score defense. Lag is unable to break through their defense. I am not sure why they are taking Fukuda and Jin. Both of their defense are not really great. At the same time, if it is not pick and roll formation, Jin will hardly to find any good look for his shot. Finally, Shohei Sakuragi made an interfere shot. Nice try from Maki. Takasago secured the rebound. Maki intends to try to take another interfere shot. Jin and Fukuda have used slow block together to provide heavy interference. But Takasago used his ulti to secure another rebound and pass to Maki. Jin eagerly approached Maki. Then Maki broke Jin's anger. Pink's tree appear. Nice one. Jin tried another interfere tree. Finally, Fukuda able to dunk on Takasago when he is fighting the rebound. This is one of the Fukuda playing style. We can change the green abilities to Super Rebounder in order to act as second rebounder. Normal Rukawa can be played as this style too. When Takasago is playing with Fukuda, Shohei Sakuraki has taken away the rebound from Takasago. Nice move. Monster reflection speed from Rukawa. Takasako is slow to react. Finally, Jin made the shot from downtown. Kings payback with another King's tree. Jin is the victim again. Another team defense from Red Team. Takasako is defending Shohei Sakuragi's shot and Rukawa is defending his dunk, and it pays off. Fukuda fall down, and Rukawa make a wide open 2. When Fukuda is unable to score, he cannot unleash his power. When he is unable to draw away defenders, his teammates will hardly to have any good shooting chances. Our copy ninja has copied Fukuda's skill and make it. Nice one. From the last match experience, 
They should realize that high score is very good in defending Fukuda. I still doubt their decision in draft pick section. Nice screen from Takasago. Lead to Rukawa wide open. Black is not wasting any time. Fukuda used his ulti directly after possession change. 8 point gaps and 1 minute left. Very challenging to lag and both of their main scorers are stuck. Another good trick for Maki. A simple layout when defenders are not in the pendant area. Give Maki a light. That's why I cannot see the reason why they pick Jin. Jin's skills are just bad when he got no big screen. At the same time, his resistance is low. Not good in taking in the field tree. Bad pan pick session will lead to this kind of situation. Formation is important. Finally, a wide open tree is for Jin. Jin needs to step up his hot hands and zone to be deadly. It is a snowball effect. Even though the Awaken version has increased his speed, but didn't change his core weakness. His move is too easy to predict. I will not recommend to play Jin if there is no screen. But with screen, he really can be a good shooter. No doubt for this. When Awans Rukawa appears in global server, remember to separate the great duo, Maki and Awans Rukawa. Taking Maki can act as counter too. Win-win situation. Rukawa is so bad, they stop Fukuda and copy his skill to score, hurting Fukuda's feeling. No good. <laughs> okay, next match. Awakened Hasegawa and Advanced Rukawa were banned again. This time, Lex selected one Sento. High score directly picked two rebounders. This is the best two rebounders formation. Both of them have speed and Oda can provide heavy interference, and they both can score. Maki is the next pick for Lex. Awakened Kenji and Takasako were banned. Both teams are trying to block the next best characters. Akagi and Awakened Miyagi were picked at last. Ryoji Daddy is started to less getting banned because more characters are overtaking his spot, especially Awakened Hasegawa. No one can beat Ryoji defense, but when we need someone to stand up to score, Ryoji hardly be the one. At the same time, characters' moving speed are drastically increased that lead to a much faster pace for a match. Based on these considerations, Ryoji Daddy will not that scary anymore. For double rebounders formation, remember that we need a point guard role. A one Sento was picked, means unable to use normal Sento. Kenji was banned. Then the next best character is Ryoda Miyaki. This is the logic behind the ban pick session. Nice dunk from a one Sento. I think both defenders are guessing Sento may use fade away, so they are not jumping at all. Looks like Miyaki has a strong desire to score. He directly took another interfere shot. Sakuragi grabbed the rebound then passed to Miyagi again. Miyagi dive in and shoot another wide open two. Nice one. OMG, OMG, one Sento make a mistake. He stepped forward before fading away. Miyagi caught this moment and sent him back. Although a one Sento looks overpowered, but also requires player skill. So many buttons to press, so many combos to remember. When in high pressure situations, we have to use his skill without mistake. It's absolutely challenging. If you want me to grade the difficulties of characters, I will rank a one Sento as first. Really too many buttons to remember. Then maybe a one Kyota. Same reason. Next will be Maki. Our hands and mind have to be synced when triggering Emperor's sense. If we are not react in time, then we will waste Maki out. Then next is definitely normal Sento. High score defense is solid. They allocate the sequence properly and change the sequence correctly when one of them miss position. They pick Akaki is better choice than a one Sanakata. They have two rebounders. If picking a one Sanakata, he may not able to compete with two rebounders. Akagi still can do some molesting move at the same time to defend Shohei Sakuragi. Take a look at Miyaki. If not Miyaki slowing down the defenders, Lag can block Sakuragi's shot. Even without screen, we must learn this small trick and letting our teammate has better opportunities. If we try to jump to avoid Maki's crossover, a pro Maki can always use fast shot after crossover. If no one defend then can use fast shot anytime after we learn that talent. If having defender has filled the role, he can choose to pass. Maki mechanism has made him survive that long. 
This is the annoying part of double rebounders formation. Center will feel unsure whether to follow their target or to defend the painted zone. One rebounder is shooting, the other one can rush to secure the rebound if missed. And their speed allows them to do this flawlessly. I think Akaki is slow to release the alley -oop button. Sendo is not doing good too. So crowded in the painted zone, why he bad on the first point? Finally has some highlighter movement from Sento. Fake down then fake away after summoning clone, but he missed. I am not recommending to use this skill too in my advanced Sento video because this fake away is too close to the pendant zone means really easy to get in the field. Nice block from our red rocket. See his speed to chase for the hustle ball? I don't think anyone can match with this speed. Another wide open 2 from Sakuragi. Just a little bit too late for Akagi. So if we are using Akagi to defend Shohei Sakuragi, remember to reserve our speeding up skill. I think Rick team has given up. 8 points gap in 1 minute time. Should have no miracle. Nice control. Sento used his ulti to bring block order, but missed the timing. Ah, a one Sento is really not that easy to play. From the match, Awakened Miyaki blocking is super good. Must be equipped with super block abilities. If we want to be good in Miyaki's defense, we must block. If only with interference, we will not be good enough. His jam rate is average. Oda's ulti is the real dirt Noweski skill. Exactly the same move. Basically, this game is all about defense. High score defense is good demonstration, and not everyone can have the same skill set. Finding the one that match with our style will be a better choice for a normal player like me. High score secure a spot in quarterfinal. Wish to see them in action again. Smooth offense and fierce defense. Really fun to watch. If you enjoy the content, please give me a like and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys. I will be back.